Hello, and welcome to Fun with Physics with Uncle Bob. This week, we'll be looking at the 3D bin packing problem. I wrote a program in Power Basic that uh, I attempted to make mimic the manual process I was using to pack multiple boxes in one large container or one large box. The first priority that I thought would be good would be to always pack the lowest area on the bottom of the large container first, or attempt to pack that first. The second priority would be to use the larger boxes first rather than the smaller boxes. In other words, larger boxes going on the bottom in as low an area as feasible and packed on the side that is lowest. If we imagine that this box has been placed in the bottom of one larger container out here somewhere and we want to place this box in here, it could go anywhere, any orientation, infinite number of possibilities, uh, totally unfeasible in the real world to program that. So you've got to make some simplifying assumptions. The first would be that I will start on the lowest open left corner. So if this box has been packed and the sides of the container around it, we'll say this point is open right now for another box to be placed some way. Notice that there are six positions for this new box to be placed. It could go here, it could go here, it could go here, 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 and here, all using this one lower point or node right here as a fixed point to position our next box. The program I wrote does many, many multiple iterations and iterations within iterations. The first iteration will be to look all over the box at the top points of all the box, boxes that have already been placed and find the lowest area in that container that's available. It will then take the largest box still left that is not placed and attempt to place it, as I just described, in these various positions. If that doesn't work, it will go to the next smaller box and try to place it in one of these positions, and so on until all boxes have been uh, attempted at a placement here on this corner. If no box can be placed, what I had the program do was to raise this node or point where we're fixing on one node or very small amounts. So we went up a little bit and attempted place again. And just keeps going until eventually we reach an area higher where a box can be placed. I computerized this, wrote it again in Power Basic because it's a fast, fast program. What we'll do now is look at the output and input and data user input on this program I wrote. This is the front end of my program where we have user input. First NS of 0.25 inches is the digitized increment or node size used for calculation purposes. Then we have large container dimensions of 20 by 16 inches. Number of boxes, NB is 10. Here are 10 boxes. A data point for each box. In other words, our first box will have dimensions of 16 by 12 by 5 and a half inches and so on. If we go ahead and run this, run, compile and execute. This is running real time. I'll bring it up and it's done, finished. Notice that we have two different outputs. The first output and the second output here. Second output is rotated 90 degrees compared to the first. In other words, the second output's got 
x of 16, y of 20, this would be reversed up here in the first output. Looking here, we've got our box numbers listed in the left column in order of placement. The corner for each box, where each box is placed in our x, y, z coordinate system is listed here, and the box sides in the x direction, y direction, and z direction are listed here in order of placement. Maximum height needed of a container in our first case here with these coordinates is 19.2 inches. Bring it up here. Notice that our second output run is 16 inches with x 16 inches, y 20 inch coordinate system. We'll be using this and we'll see that in a moment. Each time you run this program, you'll get two outputs. The second output will be rotated on the XY axis 90 degrees from the first output. In our case, it's the second output uh, gives them, giving a maximum height of 16 inches that we'll be using to pack boxes. Got box number one, and in the second output, our X axis is 16 inches be the x-axis 16, y 20 here, z will be going up. The corner of uh, first box is listed on their output at 0, 0, 0, which would be right here, the origin. That would be the lower near left corner of each box. The box sides are listed for box number one in the output in order of X, Y, Z as 12, 16, and 6. So the 12 inch side of the box will go along our X axis with the corner here. The Y side is 16 here, coming out 16. Z is 6, coming up. So 12, 16, 6. Box number one is placed. Go on to box number two. The corner is at 12, 0, 0. 12, 0, 0. Here's our corner. Box number two, X side is 4. So this is X. Y is 16. And Z, 12. This is our corner. We place it here. And so on. So if you continue in this manner, we'll complete the process. This is the result of placing those 10 boxes as directed in the output. I'll walk around, show you. The dog, although I was able to measure him, refused to be packed but you get an idea of how the 10 boxes are placed in this 20 by 16 inch area. Around here. On an unrelated note, from a geotechnical engineering perspective, be careful where you build in a floodplain. I'll show you what happened to our window well while, while we're in this room after the last flood. This program I wrote in Power Basic because it's fast. However, I encourage you to write uh, something similar using the methodology I've described or similar in your own code.